welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is Madeline so I'm gonna be capturing my birthday weekend I'm turning 26 on Wednesday so last night we went to Javier's with some of our friends and celebrated and then went out and it was so much fun honestly kind of paying for it still today and then tonight Saturday night and we're going just Ryan and I to Bob's Steakhouse which is our favorite place it's like kind of our special occasion spot so that's what we're doing right now and I just filmed my getting ready with me process I filmed my makeup and my outfit and my hair so I'll put that in right now but before I that I'll put in a couple of the clips from my birthday last night so you can see that because I didn't vlog much of it but I got a couple clips but anyways if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to my channel new videos every Sunday all things vlogs and fashion and follow me on Instagram at Madeline A. Woods <laughs> So to start, got my beverage. Went a little hard last night, so wanted to have something to sip on, but not quite ready for alcohol, so got my kombucha. But first things first, I'm going to prime my face, and I've been using this for a while. I don't know if I've showed this on my channel yet, but it's the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. So, but what I learned about it is you really just wanna put it on the spots that you have bigger, pores so like right here on my nose on the chin and I'm trying to change up my makeup a little bit I just feel like I've been doing like the same makeup techniques for a long time and I feel like you need to freshen them up every once in a while but there's this account her name is Kellyanne and her account is makeup xka I'll put it on the screen but I was watching one of her master classes and she says that she always primes her face with a mist to before she does anything. I think she actually did it before she put on um, like her primer, like so I would have done it before this. But I'm gonna do that too. And then before I go in with a foundation, I am gonna go in with the um, Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter and just put it on the high points of my face. I've had this for a while, but I hadn't really known how to use it the right way. But I'm gonna start using it more. I think it looks really good and dewy under your makeup. So now my skin just looks more like supple and prep. And then now I went to Sephora yesterday and went back to my tried and true Luminous Silk by Giorgio Armani. I'm in shade 4.25. So I'll just put it over my face. I like to kind of like tap it out to the spots that I want it because I feel like when you do this, it gives the beauty blender less room to like get all the product in the sponge. So you're keeping more product on your face, if that makes sense. Get it over my pimples. I've had these like gnarly pimples on my chin. It's terrible. And tonight I'm going for just more of like a fresh faced, glowy, fairy vibes look. Sorry, fairy vibes, like, I don't know. I also picked up the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. Um, also, so I'm doing my concealer, like making it hug my nose right here and then bringing it out on the side. So really being more like strategic with my placement down the bridge of my nose, not on my chin. On my pimples and then a little on my forehead and then I'll just blend that out too. For contour, I'm just gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury contour wand and do dot dot dot. This stuff is just so freaking easy. I love it. Right where your ear starts, at the top of your ear. That's kind of a good rule of thumb. And I'll do it down the bridge of my nose. And then on my jawline. And then I'll just blend that out. Super easy. 
This is, it, honestly, if you've never contoured before, or this is more like a contour and a bronzer in one, but even though I will go over on top with a powder bronzer, but if you've never contoured before, I would say this is like the easiest one to start with because it's just so, it moves around so nicely and it's just, it's more milky and liquidy I feel like than a lot of contours. Like some contours are so like thick and cream or like more like a crayon kind of, you know what I mean? Like it's more of, this one's just like a lot easier to move around. So that gave my face a little more like sun. Look like I've actually been in the sun and kind of some more dimension. But I do want some more dimension. So I'm gonna go in with my butter bronzer from Physicians Formula. squeeze the brush right here and get it where I want it and I'll work it kind of like the three motion if you've seen that and then I'll just blend it out to down here a little I'll just go in with this real techniques brush and kind of just do it exactly where I did the Charlotte Tilbury I'm not like super precise with it then I'm gonna go in with my Huda powder and I have shade Pound Cake. And I'm gonna go in right there and make sure it's right where I want it for contour to make my nose look a little bit smaller. So like right there you can see. So I'll do down here, just kind of like carve out where I did my contour. And I always try to like make it line up with my the edge of my lip. I'll just use like the excess on my chin and my forehead. I don't like to really bake these areas because I don't really get like that shiny anyways. And I don't want it to look cakey. My brows are already pretty thick as you can see, but I just like to kind of shape them out a little bit. So I kind of have like a spot, a bare spot right there. And I just set them with a clear, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. And now I'm gonna go in and do my eyes. I'm just gonna do a super like light, brown smoky eye tonight and i'm using my makeup by mario palette it's literally the best just like every neutral you could ever want and i'm pretty much just gonna stick to this one brush that i always use if i can find it and i don't even know where this came from but it's just like any fluffy brush will do um and i'm gonna go in with to start i'm gonna do like this one and this one just to like get the base of my eye and just literally easy peasy get it everywhere Oh my gosh, I forgot to bake the middle of my nose. That's like the most important part to me. Anyways, then I'm gonna go in with a mix of this shade and the brown shade. Kind of like tap it off a little bit so it doesn't come on too hot. And then I start at the edge and then work my way in. And then I start to just work it into the crease and bring it up here. It'll kind of give you more of a snatched look and then I'll just start to feather it out. And I'll kind of feather it to the end where it meets like the end of the brow. So yeah, and that's literally all I'm doing for shadow. And then usually for a daytime look, I would just leave the bottom of my eyes how they are, especially in the summer. But since we are going to dinner, more of a nighttime vibe, I'm gonna go in with those exact same two shades, this one and this one, and go and line the bottom of my eye a little bit. And then for liner, I'm not actually gonna use an eyeliner, but I'm gonna go in with a little tapered brush like this and pick up the darkest brown shade right here and do that, so. And I'll just go towards to like the middle of my eyelid. And then I'll just wing it out right here and then like kind of fill in the gap. So that's it for eyes, pretty simple. And then now this is kind of, okay, so this is my weird technique as far as taking off my powder. I'll like take off the first layer, but I'll leave a little bit. This is the point where there's not like a 
super harsh line. And then I go in with my damp beauty sponge and I press it in. And this is, I feel like, what helps me not get shiny through the night. It just like really lock everything in super well. My favorite blush is the Patrick Ta She's That Girl. And oh my gosh, if you guys follow the makeup artist I was talking about earlier, you're probably like, holy shit, you literally use all the products she talks about. But I like to use the powder and then the cream after. And then I like I do like the weirdest face when I do my blush, but I like to get it like right in here. And I don't feel like I can do it unless I go like this. Okay, so uh, I'll just take the butt of my sponge and pick up some of the product and then focus it mostly like right here. And it gives like a very nice finish. And I know it looks kind of crazy, but then I'm gonna go in with um, to like really set it in again and go in with my Charlotte Tilbury powder and just do like one sweep all over my face. Curl my lashes. I just like press like 10 times. I go in and I start off with the Dior, Dior Show Maximizer. The primer, this thing is like almost out. I've had this forever. And I'll just prime my lashes a little bit. I don't know how much this actually does, but I just always use it. I use two mascaras. I like to go in with this um, Voluminous Lash Paradise from L'Oreal, I think. Yeah. And then I'll go in with the L'Oreal Telescopic. This is for volume. This is for length. I like think the combo is so perfect. But so I'll do the volume one first. telescopic and for this one for the lengthening I'll really like wiggle it and pull up and it really helps with the length I'm gonna go in I'm like so extra when it comes to blush I use I like the glowgasm high blush and I have the shade peachgasm and I'll just go in where I did my blush blend it out to my best of my abilities okay now I'm gonna go in with the highlight version and do more of like the tops does this look like shit I can't tell okay usually it all comes together after I spray my face always cover your part because you don't want your hair to get greasy and then I'll just go in. And then for the grand finale, I'm gonna go in with my highlight brush and I'm gonna use my Dior highlight palette, my favorite thing in the world, and use another blush topper. And go in right here. Oh yeah, that brought it home, that looks way better. And then I go in with the um, gold one. And honestly, I might as well do lip right now. So let's just do lip. And then for lip, I'm gonna go in with the Patrick Ta in, where the hell is the shade? I'll figure it out and link it. And do my lip. For lipstick, I'm gonna go in with the Becca, which did Becca get discontinued? I don't know if I, is, it, like, is that still a thing? Anyways, um, in the shade Sugar, it's my favorite lipstick. And this is my final look. This dress is from ooh, Radika. I will find it. And but I got it a while ago, but hopefully it's still available. And then my shoes are Jeffrey Campbell. And then for my hair, I did this really cute little, what can you see? Um, like butterfly clip that I really like. So yeah, this is the vibe. the next day.
today we just got up about a super lazy morning i don't know if you guys have seen the ads for the new show dr death it's on peacock we started it an hour before we went to dinner and we came back and watched the other seven episodes and then finished it this morning crazy crazy story so yeah great true crime show if you're looking for that kind of thing but anyways i just got dressed for the day wearing this really cute little like unitard i'm obsessed with just like sets and one pieces that you just don't have to think about always don't mind my mess that's always there it's on my list of things to do but i need to like clean up this freaking disaster packages i need to return and all this stuff and i have work boxes and ugh. anyways but I wanted to show you guys a couple of these dresses that I got at Urban Outfitters the other day when I was um, there just like shopping for myself for my birthday. You guys ever do that? Am I the only one that shops for myself for my birthday? But anyways, I wanted to show you guys them because they're just really cute, like flowy dresses you can just wear any day that you don't, if you don't know what to throw on and just kind of like that vibe. Okay, here is the first one. It obviously needs to be ironed, but yeah, just so cute, just so easy to throw on. And it has this really cool like waffle material that's really comfortable. And I just thought the embroidery was so cool and unique. Yeah, can't wait to wear these. I literally live in sundresses. So these are always like so worth the money to me. Okay, and then here's the other one. I think also this will be a really good like transitional dress into fall, which is crazy that that's around the corner. Um, but yeah, this one also has really cool patterns. It's like embroidered. So it just looks really nice and it's obviously really comfortable and it's just, I love a dress. It's almost like a nightgown, if you feel me. So yeah, these are my two dresses. I will link them below. As I was filming that, I'm already planning on going to Home Goods in a few minutes, um, but it's hitting me that I just really feel like I need kind of like a, like a dresser, it's thin, um, that I can just put, like I always just have a continuing rotation of packages I need to return or that I'm like planning on like shooting content with. So I think I'm gonna do that. This room is like actually bigger than you think it is. And I never thought I could actually fit that in here, but I'm gonna take some measurements and see if I could find something like that today. So I can't get over how beautiful these clips are. They're these little butterfly clips. I wore one in my hair when we went to dinner last night. It was just such a fun little look. But yeah, I got them off Amazon and they look just, they're just so beautiful. I love them. Okay, plan right now. I'm gonna go get a quick workout in, just do my 12, 3.30. Talked about this, I think a million times, but I love it. You just walk at an incline of 12 at a speed of three for 30 minutes. And you just get a good sweat in. It just makes you feel better and it doesn't take that long. So I'm gonna go do that really quick and then I'm gonna run to Home Goods and then I think my mom and Bruce are out of town right now, but Mary is living at home right now since she just graduated. And we live in an apartment obviously and Mary's at the house and I'm like, what if me and Ryan come over and we bring some food and we just grill out tonight? So I think that's what we're gonna do. Um, so yeah, workout, Home Goods, go over to my mom's. just got back from my workout and I actually need to leave. And while I was on the treadmill, which that workout is just so good. Like it goes so fast and you get so, you just get a good sweat in, you get your endorphins going, highly recommend. But I know I said I was gonna go to Home Goods, which I still wanna go this week. So I feel like I just want some more candles. I kinda want some more throw pillows. So maybe I'll keep vlogging and go tomorrow. But um, I saw this TikTok and you can actually buy furniture on tjmax.com. And apparently it, it like comes fully assembled. Like it's not like Ikea and it's very inexpensive and i actually found this really cute dresser that like is totally my vibe i'm that person that like i just know when i see something if i'm gonna like it so i'm gonna get the measuring tape out and double check it it'll fit but boom easy done just need a dresser like this is just not good <laughs> i need another thing of storage for in here but Anyways, so now we're gonna get Brian's taking a shower right, right now. I'm just gonna go like gross from the gym because we're gonna grill outside and stuff. And then we're gonna go pick up Mary and go to Kroger probably. I kind of wanna make kebabs. That's kind of what I'm feeling. So I'm gonna look up some recipes and then we'll have dinner. Got the goods. Oh, oh they look good. Oh no. Okay, I think that looks good. Yeah, 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 that's what it was on. 
Hi guys, it's the next day. It's my birthday. It's kind of weird. I'm 26 and I started this YouTube channel when I was 24 and one of my first videos was my 24th birthday. So it's kind of weird, but I just got cute. Just felt like it, you know, had a great day. Did some work, you know, just a usual grown up birthday, honestly. And um, just got ready. I'm about to go over to my mom's for dinner. My grandparents are coming and it'll be like just me, my stepdad, um, my mom, Ryan, Mary, grandparents. So we're gonna grill steaks, it's gonna be awesome. But I just wanted to hop on really quick and show you guys my outfit because it's really cute. It's this dress that I got from ASOS and I wasn't sure if I was crazy about it, but it's just like a really good like throw on dress. Cute, comfy, has this slit that makes it like extra comfy, you know, because I hate when like dresses are so long and you like can't move your legs. So that's nice. And then I think I have other shoes in my car I'm going to switch to. But these are just like Zara slides. And then just my Chanel bag and then just curled my hair and like wearing my usual lily clasp earrings and then just did like glowy simple makeup. But yes, let's go. These beautiful aspen trees that are all gold because it was the fall. And this. Yeah. I'm gonna ask you that in five it's years. Something called the she chocolate. Could be or wrong, but so could we all. Okay, there's one thing. Oh. She has no idea what to do. They're talking shit about me. It's like when you get used to learning the dishwasher, you do it efficiently. You're like, I just put everything in here. Maddie just loves to do it. There's no. There's no like. <laughs> Perks of your mom designing jewelry. It's my new stuff. Got a little M necklace. And this one. It's pretty cool. Sure. <laughs> Not that lazy, I can do it. <laughs> Just got home from my mom's and I got home to two packages that I ordered, which was perfect. They came on my birthday, actually. I don't know which, what this is, but I know what this is and I wanted to unbox it because it's like the coolest thing ever. Good lord. I wrote myself a note on this package. I put it as a gift and I put happy birthday from me to me. <laughs> okay. These Estelle colored wine glasses, and they're really bougie. And every color is different. So, this is the first one. It's pink. Let's do this one. This one looks fun. Look how freaking cool this is. Like, this one is. So if y'all seen those Hailey Bieber wedding shoes by um, Jimmy Choo, they're like over a grand. I found them. They're way less expensive. And they just got here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here's one shoe. Here's the other. So this one has a big bow right here, and this one has a bow on the back. I'm losing my shit. Oh my gosh. 
I can't believe I found this dupe. I have to try these on. 